This is the twist and lock drill. This is an excellent drill to learn proper body position on the wall. You'll notice that I'm actually using opposites to drive my body up into the wall. So here I'm using my left hand and my right foot. Now I'm placing my left foot and I'll be reaching up with my left hand. You'll notice that each time I move, so it's right foot here, I'm driving my right hip in so that the right hand can move up. Here's the drill again in more detail. You'll notice that I'm driving into that shoulder, so I'm rotating into that shoulder. And with the feet, I'm placing them in a way that I can pivot so that my knee can rotate in and my hips will also rotate in as I do that. You'll notice that my arm is also very straight as I do this twist and lock. Each time I place my feet, I'm driving with that foot as hard as I can. The more pressure you can put into those feet, the better the movement. And here you'll notice I'm going to drive the hip really hard into the wall as I reach up. Here I'm doing a more aggressive twist and lock. So I'm rotating really hard into the shoulder and I'm pressing with that toe even more so I can get over and on top of my body to reach across. So notice my knee drops down, my hips drive up and into the wall as I reach up. So the goal of the twist and lock is for you to be able to do this as often as possible to make your movement as efficient as you can. The more you twist, the less you have to pull with your arms. Your legs are doing most of the work and the rotation is actually taking weight off of your arms as you move. So become a more efficient climber by implementing this drill. You'll be able to upgrade your movement in no time by using this as often as you can.